All right, YouTube. This is your boy, the Village 70, and I have my little aquaponics little system out right now. As you can see, I got this in here with the silicone around it, and it's drying right now. So I'm out here doing a little putting it together. Let's see how it will be. Put it outside on my patio. The wife don't want it in the house. So I'm going to have to keep it out here like this. Maybe I'll put something over it or box it in some kind of way. But anyway, as you see, the gray one is where the fish will be. Goldfish or basically just to test it out maybe some goldfish or something then later on I put like a tilapia or a brim or crappie or something like that a trout even works they said so I'll try one of those fish probably end up being tilapia and uh, see that blue holes right there is a water pump is right there and that water pump goes into this thing which is a biofilter and if you can see right there that blue pipe goes right there it comes in there's gonna be some filtration stuff charcoal rocks screen so that the bacteria can that the ammonia from the fish and the waste products go in there and the bacteria have a place where they can change that ammonia and stuff into the nitrates that it needs to into the nutrients or well, in their nitrates with the bacteria that comes out of here nutrients into the grow bed which will be filled up with that uh, hydro hydrite or even um, some shale or some rocks depending on which one I use and then um, the plants are use up the nitrates coming out of the filter nitrates in there feed the plants plants grow create vegetables great vegetables and then from there this is my bell siphon and it goes from a one inch diameter down to a half an inch creates a suction when that top right there goes over placed over top of it with my rudimentary skills I have created one and if you can see I have the big holes which where the water goes through and it raises up raises up and when it gets when it spills over the top of that and goes in that hole more water goes into the top and covers up the hole and it creates a suction sucks down all the water out of here and then the suction is broke by that it's supposed to be by that little hole right there once all the water or most of the water drains down to about that level so we'll see if it works I gotta wait like at least about three four hours for the uh, silicone to dry so we'll see after that. I'm out here in my little patio. It's not that big, you know. So I'm limited on my prepping as far as, you know, I, I live in like a town home. It's my little patio. And my little steel door right here. That's my little crazy mutt dog right there. Man, Kiwi. Kiwi. Kiwi Leewi. Booka Booka. Booka Booka. Kiwi. Sit. See that good girl? See that good girl? Yes, Kiwi. You're a movie star. You're a movie star. Let's try it again. Kiwi. Sit. 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 See? Sometimes you just gotta show them the alpha male in you. Anyway, couldn't do that with this. 
the alpha male and my wife showed up, so I, I had to let that go. I pick your battles, people. At any rate, this is the aquaponic system test. When it gets, when I perfect it, maybe I'll make it a little bigger and so I could be self. Well, we might could be self-sufficient off that, but maybe I'll put another grow bed or two for the other different size vegetables or whatever. Maybe I'll put it right here and enclose this part right here and make it like a little greenhouse right here. And then I can come out my door right there into the little greenhouse or something. That would be cool. So again, I just got rudimentary skills. This is all like future plans. But uh, yeah, if this thing works, we'll have um, some uh, prepper uh, food. And then I can use my dehydrator. And I'm still looking for a, um, a canning, a, a, a pressure canner. So somebody please tell me where I can get one. Alright, this is the Village 70 and I'm out.